Hi everyone and welcome to 2022. Actually, I had to think about that. <laughs> How are you all? I hope you had a really lovely break. Um, thank you for all the love for my mum. She spent most of Christmas actually reading her comments. Oh, have you seen this one, Kazzy? Oh, that's a lovely one. Oh, aren't, aren't people lovely? And yes, you are. So it was a really lovely way to finish off the year. So thank you very much for that. And I thought, what the heck am I gonna do now? What do they need? What do they want? Um, they, meaning you guys, have been doing this for like nearly six years now. I'm like, hmm, is there anything else I need to teach them? And of course I can do new products, new products, new products. Um, but it's kind of nice to sort of mix it up. Um, and I started to do my own little bit of maintenance and I thought, put the brakes on. Let's just do the little bits of maintenance that you do on yourself, Caroline, on camera, um, because that's just something to share, isn't it? Um, so I've literally got not a stitch on my face um, and I'm going to start, um, I'm actually gonna start with my lips, first of all. <clears throat> now this is a wonderful product. It's called Tinker Tailor. Now there is a very um, established, renowned, um, talented makeup artist called Zoe Taylor and she, so literally, I think it was probably about three years ago, developed in her kitchen this own really beautiful vegan, fully recyclable lip treatment kit. You can buy the products separately as well. And it was when I was starting to get people into my little office to chat, um, and we were talking and trying to liaise, our, trying to match our diaries for her to come in, because it's really interesting. I will get her in um, to talk about her product and it's just never happened and she only lives down the road in Brixton so it's like oh it's really annoying um, anyway um, I've got the product here and I wanted to show um, show it to you because this is the time of year for dry lips now originally Zoe created and formulated all these products in her own kitchen and like most of us she believes that beauty should come from nature and the kind of unison of that um, makes us feel good and look better, right? So we are all into that. Um, the lip scrub is um, sugar cane, um, natural sugar cane, and I love to use this. Um, uh, not all the time, I have to say. I'll do it if my lips feel like whatever I do is not fixing them. But let me tell you, pretty much every makeup artist in London because I haven't really left London <laughs> the last few years, can't say about any other place in the world at the moment, um, has this little tin in their kit because when you're working, you need to kind of have great skin, not dry lips, in an instant, so it looks perfect for shoots, right? And sometimes when someone walks in, that just isn't what you get delivered. So this little kit kind of sorts everything out and I love the fact that this sugar cane is so abrasive initially and then it just really, really dissolves. And it tastes so good. <laughs> Not that I should obviously eat it, um, but it feels really, really lovely on the skin and on the lips. Now, talking about lips, um, I had a little treatment on my lips. I'll tell you about that in a second. Many of you might have seen it um, on Instagram because I did a little vlog about it. I had a treatment on my lips. I'll, I'll do a close up in a second when I've taken this off. Um, but I have really noticed that my lips are not dry in the slightest. Anyway, so first of all, you start with a scrub and then you've got two options. You've either got the lip oil, which is really nice if you just want to have a little bit of a sheen to your lips, or you've got the lip balm. I wouldn't use the lip oil before I was putting on a lipstick um, because obviously you can't get the pigment to adhere to your lips, so I'll use the balm. It comes with a little spatula as well, but this is my own personal kit. Um, I've got my kit kit in my pro bag, um, so I'm allowed to put my fingers in this, but it does come with a nice little wooden spatula. Instantly, lips feel soft, and I just think, it's available in Liberties, you can get it from Liberties or online on Zoe's website, but um, it's a really nice treat to yourself because so many people don't realize, well, hopefully you do now, because I have talked about it before, that things like spearmint, peppermint, camphor, fragrance, um, vitamin E is one of the products as well that can cause so much irritation to lips. I mean, never ever, if you're a Blisties Carmex person, bin that stuff now, because let me tell you, I bet you've had that in your bag for a couple of years, right? If you put a balm on, it should solve your dry lips. 
you shouldn't need it every day because you're not getting anywhere. You're just kind of covering up something um, that is not actually healing. You're actually creating more of a problem for yourself. So how nice does that look? It's a really lovely product from Zoe, Tinker Tailor, available in Liberties. Um, and I think there's just something quite nice. I mean, obviously, I love packaging and beauty, but there's just something quite nice about having everything tucked away in your little tin. So back to my lips. Um, I might just actually bring the camera just to look a little bit closer. You've probably seen, well, you've seen my lips for, for many a years, and I've always kind of been slightly irritated with the lines above my mouth here, which hasn't really changed, probably changed. God, I look a bit ropey. <laughs> oh dear, sorry to scare you all. Anyway, it's reality, isn't it? Um, and I went to see the amazing Sophie Schotter, and she said, listen, I can do this treatment that's just going to give you a little bit of volume to your lips, which it absolutely has done. You can see that they're not as crinkly. They used to be sort of very soft in texture, but they would look quite just sort of crumpled, which would annoy me, especially on the camera. You know, I can understand now why so many of my artists that I've worked with over the years, you know, kind of end up going down that aesthetic route quite quickly, because when you're looking at yourself too much, it's just not good for you, is it? And that's what everyone has struggled with, you know, over lockdown with Zoom, because it's just not normal to be looking at yourself so much. Ah, does my head in. Anyway, I try not to do that. Anyway, I can repurpose the film if you haven't seen it for next week, if you'd like to see it, and I can pop it on the channel. It won't be the sort of normal um, speed beauty that you're, you're used to, but I can definitely do that, or you can go onto my Instagram. Let me know below. Right, so my lip treatment, perfect. Soft, hydrated, and energized from the scrub. Next, I'm going to use uh, my Votary um, blade. Now, I've used and dermaplaned my face for, for many years, um, and I used another product here, which I literally just keep in my pen pot, and that was by Stacked Beauty. Um, actually, I haven't got a fresh blade in there at all, because I change them and keep them quite clean, because that's very important. Um, but I love these ones from Votary. I think the dermaplaning film was one of my um, top films, but I love to use this because I've got a lot of um, superfluous hair or vellus hair um, and my eyebrows here go quite high as you know so I just try and remove any of the kind of soft fluffy vellus hair without having to sort of over pluck especially if I'm in a rush I will pluck my eyebrows um, if I've got the time because obviously that just saves time overall but these fine hairs that exist and become much more obvious when I put makeup on, it's just so easy to remove with a blade. There's lots of these eyebrow tools around. Use the eyebrow tools on your eyebrows, but I think if you're going to do, like I'm gonna do in a minute, and do the sides of your face, I would use a special tool because the blade is really important. So I've got my mole here and I always take it down. I think I used to take it up because I got a cleaner finish. Oh, look at that. Look at it falling off my face. All soft and fluffy there. It's there to keep you warm. And there I am removing it. But um, I first found out about the joys of dermaplaning from my American clients. And they all had these beautiful kind of like glass-like smooth complexions, which you know some people do and some people don't. And um, this particular client said, so, oh yeah, dermaplane, dermaplane, it's great. And what's also nice is that it creates a very, a bit like shaving your face really, isn't it? Um, a very, very soft exfoliation for the surface of your skin. So be careful what products you use after this. Wee, that's so satisfying. Let's take that off with the cotton bud. Um, because you don't want to use an AHA or an exfoliant after this because you'll probably get a bit of a tingle. Um, but it just takes the edge off just takes the edge off. It just takes the fine hairs off my face. And I'll probably just do this every six weeks. Um, no one probably notices apart from me, but I think being a makeup artist, your eye is so trained on detail. I'm watching this beautiful sunshine, woof, come around the corner. I might need to close the blinds in a minute, or maybe I should just talk faster. So there we are, just a little bit on my top lip and the sides of my face and under my brows. So that's that done. Then I spray it um, clean with an antibacterial thing and then I cover it up um, to keep that nice and clean. I don't leave it out because that's really, really important. Um, next, we'll do brows. I'm going to tint my brows. So I'm going to put a little bit of the Lano lips around, just around the edge. Maybe I should use a brush to apply this. 
first of all, just to get a little bit closer so that I don't spill the uh, tint, not spill the tint, smudge the tint. Now, so please tell me what you want to get from this channel. Um, do you just like the full makeups? Do you want me to sort of do sort of my favorite product reviews each month? Um, it seems that there's a lot of repetitive content on YouTube, like this is the Charlotte Tilbury Foundation, then you get sort of like 500 reviews of that. Um, I don't watch all of them, I don't have the time. So <clears throat> I don't know whether they're all very different or whether that just gets a bit repetitive. So please, again, it really helps me to know what you want because um, you know, when you know a subject so well, you just think, oh, I don't know what to say now. Surely everyone knows everything. Um, now, if you are fair like me, well, fake fair, right? Because actually I'm quite dark. Um, I don't like a dark brow. I think it overpowers my eyes. I think it's much fresher um, um, to have a lighter brow. That's just my aesthetic. So in the stores in the UK, I find it really hard to find a light colour um, and one that's not too orange. So actually, I've got these professional beauty colours. I use the black for my eyelashes, which I'm not going to bother with today. Um, but I use the light brown for my uh, brows. It's just the best colour that I've found um, and just a little bit of lash developer. So I've just got a little bowl here, just going to show you, and I just squeeze sort of like, I don't know, two inches in. And so just that much. And then a couple of drops. I used to be a beauty therapist years ago. I literally worked in a salon for about six months. So I can't say I was a particularly experienced one. Um, but myself and my friend Zoe, who works with me on this channel. Hi Zoe. She's my Frexpert. She's like, have you seen this product? Have you seen this product? She is absolutely brilliant. Um, we, we met at beauty school. Um, so I'm used to sort of doing this quite haphazardly. Um, so please don't say, well, you should have done this, you should have done that. I've done this for years, it works for me. And sometimes it's just quite nice to be able to do things quickly because at the end of the day, this is maintenance um, and it's not really that enjoyable. I'd rather be doing other things. Right, so I've whizzed it up with my spoolie, as you can see, and I'm just taking the excess off. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press very lightly and backwards only on the hairs because I'm trying to catch those fine hairs at the tail end of my brow. I'm going to use a brow enhancer. I'm going to do, I'm literally gonna put it by my bed now. Why I haven't done it before, I've no idea. Um, but I'm going to try and see if I can get these little guys to grow a bit more. I don't think they will at the ends, but please let me know if you've used a brow enhancer um, like rapid brow or something like that on an area that's thin because I think I can make them grow longer like if you've got lashes I understand how it increases the length of the hair cycle um, so I'm doing this very very gradually and I'm not pressing on the skin but I'm going to in a moment I'm just going to do both sides first so I'm just trying to really delicately pick up those fine baby hairs I'll just dip in again with the other side and go the other side um, where were we? What were we talking about? <clears throat> oh yeah, brows. Have you used one that's sort of really thickened the hair where possibly there was hair <laughs> years ago? Although actually when I look back at my school photos, I'll try and insert one for you. I've always had these brows. Um, <clears throat> I wonder whether they will grow. Anyway, I'll give it a try. But yeah, interested to see what you guys uh, think of that too. So just a few little brows backwards and forwards very lightly. The backwards action works really well because it picks the hair up from the skin. Um, and I only want a little bit of definition but it really does make all the difference. And then just the fairer ones in the inside because we tend to lose the brows from the outside the inside annoyingly. I really hope this light's okay. Now, <clears throat> the other side of this very lovely Jones Road um, uh, brush is a nice liner brush. So I've just dipped the liner brush into the bottom of the bowl. And very delicately, where I don't have any brow, I'm going to tint the skin just like I would do with an ink. Now this is only gonna last me a week, and it's very, very light, but I just sort of paint fine little marks with the tint. 
um, <clears throat> if only it lasted longer. And yes, I did, um, I'm going to find out about powder brows. I did a live with Nadine Baggett and Kat Farmer, who has an amazing fashion channel um, called Does My Bum Look 40? Nadine is the beauty know it all. I'm sure you know them both. Um, and we talked about powder brows. Um, so I need to investigate more into that because I think that could be, or sounds like it could be a really natural way to just enhance them, but just to almost do what I've just done with the tint. And that's it. I'm going to just bring it around here just a little bit more with that fine spoolie just to kind of strengthen up the base of that brow. Because at the end of the day, if you can just get all these things, just the structure on your face sorted out, then it just makes life easier getting ready in the morning, doesn't it? Right, so I'll leave that for five minutes or so. What next do I have to tell you? Oh yes, I've become obsessed with toothpaste. <laughs> And the toothpaste world is changing, and, and, and for the better, in terms of recycling, I mean, how many squidgy tubes of toothpaste are there sitting in our planet, which is quite scary. Um, so I've got three um, recyclable um, tooth pastes and one tablet to show you. First of all, my teeth are now complete. Thank you very much, Dr. Uchenna. Again, if you would like to talk about Invisalign, it was only meant to take me about four months, but with COVID and everything else like that, then it took longer. I mean, I look back at my teeth and I'm like, oh, goodness me. And again, I probably wouldn't have bothered because I wouldn't have looked at myself so much, but I'm so pleased that I've done it. I was sort of brace phobic because I had, I was, well, not born obviously with buck teeth, but my teeth were so buck. I had one of those braces that came outside of my mouth, pulled around to my neck. So I, the thought of another brace just literally put me off, but Invisalign is so good. If you'd like an interview with Uchenna, then we can definitely do that. If that's of interest, again, questions are helpful, then I can ask Uchenna directly those questions. Anyway, Uchenna has an amazing toothpaste called My Smile. Um, her, her work's motivation is bringing beautiful smiles to people's faces. Um, and this brightens, nourishes and protects and it's made of natural mint. It's got spearmint and peppermint in it. The reason this is different to any other toothpaste that you will have tried is the texture. Um, I said to her the other day, it's like a balm, Uchenna. It feels luxury um, and it feels really gentle on the teeth, yet it gives a super, super cleaning experience. Again, it's all recyclable, like I said, um, and no SLLs. Um, sodium lauryl salt, yeah, SLL, <laughs> my brain's still getting into action. Um, and um, it's a really pleasant experience. She's, um, no, 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 Uchenna is Nigerian and there's this beautiful print on her box um, that she found and she loved this print. And guess what? The print is called Plark Plark. Who, who would have thought, right? That's so cool. Anyway, London Smiling is her clinic. This is her toothpaste. Um, next up is a is a extraordinary brand called Parla, um, and they do the uh, most amazing bamboo toothbrushes, which I'm obsessed with. Love these because a lot of the bamboo toothbrushes I have tried before, the bristles are really weak, so you don't really get a good good scrub and a clean. But this Parla toothbrush, the bamboo toothbrush, is amazing. I mean, once you go bamboo, you're not going back to plastic. It just feels right. Anyway, so Parla is designed by dentists to be good for you for the planet. Why is it different? I'll tell you why it's different. Because you take these little tablets. Um, I take two little tablets. Squish it, I won't do it now because you don't really need to see me clean my teeth, do you? <laughs> take two tablets, you chew on them for five seconds, which creates the paste, and you clean your teeth. Everything is completely recyclable. There is absolutely no waste. And like I said, it's designed um, by dentists for zero waste, plastic free, cruelty free, made in the UK, gluten free, palm oil free, vegan, SLS free, contains obviously fluoride. Um, and it is just so good and it feels great to be doing positive things and positive changes. In fact, I should probably get Justine Jenkins back on because um, if you scroll back probably a year and a half, two years, um, she was talking about her vegan and cruelty free um, choices. Um, of beauty products and she's just written a book on sustainable beauty and it's just really inspired me to make a difference in so many other ways. Um, right, I'm just going to, just got a little bit of water on my pad and take those brows off. Ah, lovely, great. 
That was lucky because I nearly was going to go on to the next topic and then I would have had really Groucho Marx brows, wouldn't I? So don't leave it on too long. Come on, sunshine, don't give me that hard light. Let me just move back a little bit. Great. So that has made all the difference for me. And that's it. So if you've got really, really fine, light brows, you do this. Just don't be very, very careful. Just keep it on for three minutes if you're nervous. But look at this colour. Right, it's not too dark. I'm really, I'm really nervous to go into those brow busts. I just don't want dark brows. But that's just giving my brows just a little bit um, of depth, which I need. So brows done, dermaplaning done. Oh, my other toothpaste. This is a brand called Hello. It's an American brand, just come to the UK and it's available in Superdrug. And they grow their own mint. They've got these amazing mint farms. The owner is a real, extraordinary entrepreneur, big brain, big ideas, really funny guy. This is just delicious. And I never thought I'd say that about toothpaste. Love it, love it, love it. So yeah, so three new toothpaste brushes just to kind of excite your teeth, something we do twice a day and um, yeah, all feels good. I'm literally looking for something that I haven't prepared um, and I've got to put some fake tan on because I look, I mean, I've got a glove here, let me find a glove. All the things I use regularly are all around me. I'm going to move back slightly here. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of my natural honey, Amanda Harrington, because there's no gradual tan going on here. I want instant tan. Here we are. Where's the brush? Have I got the brush? Have I got the brush? I've got the brush. Okay, right. So if you've seen me use this before, I absolutely love it. Amanda's been on the channel. So nice. I'm going to get people back in again. I think it's really nice to anyone you want to meet, anyone you'd like me to um, interview. Right, so what I prefer to do myself is that you can spray it on the brush, but it goes everywhere. So I prefer to spray it into my hand and take the brush and really work the product into the brush. I'm going to start on my neck because that's the palest one. Palest one, palest part of me, and then just build up. I'm going to do a light tan. With this wonderful product, you can actually create a really nice, deep, dark tan but I just want a nice soft wash for now. Nothing too much, but it's just kind of something to neutralize the pink in my face. I'm going to go into a couple of meetings now. I don't really want to have too much on my face. Could probably do a little bit more, right? So spray that into my glove. The, the product comes with the glove too. And I might just make the brush a little bit smaller just to help carve in a bit of a cheekbone. Um, so yeah, 2022, I really feel that this is gonna be a fun year. I need to book some holidays. I need to do, well actually, we'd like to go to Costa Rica next year, because next January, oh, I just had my birthday, by the way. Any fellow Capricorns out there? 49 now, so it's the 50th next year, so it would be nice to have some good plans. Lots of little plans, I think. I thought I was gonna have a big party, but you don't really get to speak to everyone, do you? And then you sort of wake up in the morning and go, oh my God, that was such fun, but I didn't speak to so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so. And, -so -and, -so and actually, quite frankly, quality time with people is all that we really want right now. All that I want, anyway. I can't speak for anyone else. Lovely. Even so, it doesn't make a mess. I have it. got spritz of fake tan everywhere. I'll clear that up in a second. Just remember to take it off the glove before you pop the glove off so it doesn't get into your makeup bag. And I'll probably chuck a little bit of SPF on and then I'll leave you to your days. Because um, I've been rambling quite a lot, I think. Always got so much to say. Let me use a little bit of my Emma Hardy. Don't, I always use, well, I tend to use sort of quite lightweight um, SPFs anyway in the winter. Always an SPF, but a little bit lighter. Like my Screen Queen. I love that. And I love this as well. It feels like skincare. Both those products feel like skincare rather than something sort of heavy on my face. But the formulations of SPF these days are incredible. Right, that is a little bit of beauty maintenance bringing me into 2022. Right, you lot, I've given you lots of questions, asked you loads of things. You've got a lot of work to do. I can't wait to read all your comments and let's get some really great content going for the rest of the year. Have wonderful days. See you soon.